basic nail maintenance. Um, and what I do, the hands and nails, of course, go together. I use this. It's Burt's Bees Beeslax. This is kind of like a hand solve. I think I just got it from CVS or something. But this is one of my favorite products because you can use any hand moisturizer um, as long as it is kind of a thick, creamy texture. If you see that kind of comes out like just basically like paste and it is so so sticky but it smells so good I don't like eating bananas but it smells really good and this is actually what I use on my hands and my fingers and a lot of people might ask why are you gonna pay to so much attention to your hands you know you're working on your nails well the answer to that is that your hands are what supply blood flow to your nails if your hands don't have good blood flow then your nails will not have good blood flow and massage is one of the best way to get blood flow to a certain area um, so just a little massage every now and then not only does it relax you take away tension but it really improves the blood flow and the dexterity kind of of your um, of your body basically so this is something that I love to do because, yes, it's relaxing. It's kind of an optional step. Um, but I would recommend it to anyone who is, you know, really serious about their nail care. Next thing that I go into is basic kind of nail care. And I got this for Christmas, which was actually a really funny gift because I got two of them from two different people. Um, I think I have a Christmas tag that you guys can go look at. Um, but I'm just going to kind of run you through what I do. First off, I take a cuticle pusher, and you guys can get these just about anywhere. And what you do with this is that you want to push this cuticle, this little kind of skin flap, as far back as possible. And what this does is it, you know, it helps you improve blood flow, um, it helps your nail bed grow stronger, kind of just makes them all the same. But don't press and jab at your nail bed, because that's how you get these little white spots if you can see both of those. So if you like bang on your nail bed, it'll be a problem. But if you do this gently, you know it should be fine. Um, and let me tell you, this is so much easier to do after you soak your hands in water, um, warm water, or after you get like right out of the shower. And I actually like to go in with the back of my cuticle pusher. So for instance, the side that I push my cuticle, there's a more pointy one. Um, there are some that are like really, really sharp that you can pick with. For instance, um, like this one, you can pick with that. But I really don't like to do that just because I feel like it's a little bit too sharp. And why go in with something so kind of dangerous if I could go in with something more subtle? Once I finish that, I do go in with filing my nails. And these are my favorite little things for filing on the go. Um, those are just like little mini nail files. You can get nail files anywhere, like CVS, uh, Long's Drug, or Long's doesn't exist anymore, but Safeway, you name it. Um, but nail files are really, really important. You can also use something like this, whether it's glass or cheapo. Um, the glass ones, they work better for me, but they keep on like getting these really deep gashes in them. So I'm just going to use this, but I'm just going to basically shape up any kind of misshapen nail. And just try to keep them all uniform, just because even as plain nails, it looks better that way. Next, I like to go in with a buffing brush. And I got this one at Sephora for like, I think it was like $5. You guys can go do just about anything. And I actually don't want to do this to my nails, so I'm only going to do one. Um, but this is basically going to make your nails look like they have polished when they don't. So the first one is this buffing one, and it kind of destroys the outer layer of the nail. Um, you guys can get these from Kiyos in the mall, too. So that's the first step, makes your nail look like that. Step two is to buff it, and the buffing is the pink that kind of gets all that off and just kind of deepens it. Like that. The third is to polish. Like that. Yeah, and the fourth is to shine. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell the difference, but hopefully you will. Can you guys see the difference between this snail and this snail? This is the one that got shined, and this is the one that didn't. And in real life, it makes a huge total difference. One is way more shiny, and the other is just kind of dull. So this one is a lot smoother. It feels almost like glass. 
and this one's just like a normal nail. So that's what it does, and it really makes your nails look taken care of, even if you do not um, have polish on them. Almost looks like a little clear coat. But I'm not going to do that to all my nails, just because it is harder to paint over this. This is something you want to do if you're not going to paint your nails. Um, next thing I go in is Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. And I really like this. You can get it just about anywhere. And um, the way I do it, I actually take my nail, each one, and just scrape it in on the back. So I just kind of dip it in um, and scrape out just because of the texture and consistency of this thing. And you want to basically push down from the tip where you got the product all the way into the cuticle. And this is great because it massages your cuticle, it helps with any of these damage, and it really just keeps your cuticle healthy and clean. And that's the part that actually, you know, connects to where the nail grows. So it is very important that you take good care of it. And again, it's like a little mini hand massage, so <laughs> who could reject that? <laughs> so that is what I do to keep my nails healthy and happy. <laughs> That's what I do to keep them healthy and happy. Okay, I just can't talk today. Um, there's also something that I do, and I would not do this and this other thing on the same day. Um, I actually use, I think it's calcium benzenate, and I would not do these both on the same day. If I'm doing this, for instance, I wouldn't use the calcium benzenate. If I'm doing the calcium benzenate, I wouldn't do this. Um, but what this is, is calcium benzenate. It's actually Aztec healing clay that I use for my acne. I'll probably post a video on it soon. Um, but it works wonders for my acne. But what it actually does, it is a calcium thing. And when I don't do this to it, I actually take a bit. I'll show you on one nail. I take a bit, it's kind of this clay-like texture, and I legitly paint it onto my nail. And what happens, this was kind of sitting out so it's dry, um, but this is calcium. Your nails need calcium. Your nails are what, calcium is what your nails are made of. So to get your nails long and strong, you definitely want to eat and ingest a lot of calcium. But what I do is that I put this on the outside, and this just kind of helps preserve the outer layers of calcium. This isn't going to create new nail. But this is going to kind of strengthen, and the calcium is going to bond with the, the existing bonds in my nail, just to kind of get it a little bit stronger. And when I do this, I probably leave it on for um, about an hour or two, and, you know, it'll eventually flake and fall off. And I do it to all of my nails, of course. But it works really well. I have noticed it changes, and I just kind of wipe it off with water. And my nails are happy and healthy, so I really hope you guys